All right, guys, I'm, I'm actually gonna go do something I have never, well, first off, welcome to no skinny jeans. Second, I'm actually going to do something I have never done before, and it was based on your recommendations. Um, I'm usually very frugal, as Lauren likes to joke, and I don't spend money on myself or on really anything. <laughs> but uh, today, I am going and getting fitted for shoes. And the reason being, I'm starting to get rubbed in on the back of my foot and at the base where my toes are. So... I figured why not go and get fitted for shoes and hopefully that'll help. Uh, you know, I may spend a little more than what I would buying regular shoes, but at least I know they'll fit correctly and I'll be able to work out and hopefully be comfortable. So as you see, I got a mask on, getting ready to go in there. They're probably gonna put me on the treadmill and all of that. Unfortunately, I don't have a video person, so I can't video, but I will tell you guys all about the experience just in case you decide you wanna go. All right, guys, so I did get my shoes there on the counter. Lauren's gonna kill me. Yep. I mean, they're nothing too special, but what's great about them, they're flat all the way through, which is good for me, and the toe box is nice and wide. Oh, uh, ignore all the plates in the background. No, they weren't as expensive as I thought they were gonna be, which is good. That's perfect. Um, if you're in the Daytona area, go see Timothy at Running Elements. He was awesome. Talked with me for probably 45 minutes. Walked me through, you know, that we tried on. I tried on like three different ones. Walked me through each shoe um, and took his time with me and I appreciate that. Like he made sure the pronation, everything was good. So I'm excited to use these. Um, hopefully that'll stop or at least limit some of the pain I'm having, so. We are so proud of John for actually doing it. Yeah. Cause you're not a spender I spent, like that. Yeah, I spent more than I would on any shoe. Ever but they're definitely the most i i wouldn't even say they're comfortable but they're the most running shoe ready like i feel confident in them and that i'll be able to go maybe even further than what i thought so i'm excited for it but we're going to calculate miles i'm going to let you guys know where i'm at and see where we can go from there all right so we're getting ready uh starting to wind down get ready for dinner things like that but I wanted to fill you guys in really quickly, let you know where I'm at um, in my experience I had too, getting the shoes. So they have a little machine that you stand on that measures your feet, measures your arch, measures everything. The good thing was, I, I, the bad thing about it, I'm in between sizes. I'm in between a 13 and a half and a 14. And based on that, I did have to size up um, to a 14 because they don't have 13 and a half. But what's funny about that is before the weight loss, my foot was measuring uh, a 14 and a half to a 15. So I've lost almost a whole shoe size through this whole process, which is kind of funny. But yeah, that was interesting. Um, and I was talking with Timothy from Running Elements and you know, I told him about my channel, my challenge that I'm doing, trying to get to 125 miles. And he kind of showed me, he keeps a log of what he runs and he does about 70 miles in a week. I was like, way to shame me, thank you. No, he was nice about it. He's, I was never big into running. Never been big into pushing myself like this unless it was for sports, basketball, football, things like that. So it was eye-opening to see that. Um, but at 300 pounds, I am thrilled that I can do this challenge and be able to do it consistently. Um, with that being said, we're in day 15. Day 15's not really over yet. I am calculating it at this point like let's say the day was done. So I'll actually be up a little more than what I think. But right now I've done 69.6 miles in 15 days, which puts me ahead of pace. I'm actually on pace for about 140 miles, which I'm thrilled about. I, it's an awesome feeling. I mean, to be on pace for over 100 and pushing towards 150, I don't know if I'll get there. I'll try, but with the new shoes, who knows what can happen. All right guys, so I got a lot of questions about what I eat, things like that. Um, tonight is a very, I will say, pregnant friendly meal because it's what Lauren wanted. Uh, what we're going to have is peppers, onions, and we are gonna use the Tattooed Chef, chef uh, cauliflower bake. Uh, which is like macaroni and cheese. They're cauliflower macaroni and cheese. But I know a lot of you were asking about it, so I'm gonna show you how I cook it and what I do to uh, spicing it up a little bit, you know? I'm all about finesse. I preheated the oven for 400, 
and then you're gonna put this in there for 50 minutes. All right guys, so our 50 minutes is getting ready to come to an end here, but that's the sausage and peppers getting all cooked up there. Made myself some mushrooms because Lauren loves them so much. And all right, let's pull it out and take a look here. Doesn't look too appetizing right now, trust me. It will get better. Um, normally what I do now is I'm gonna add my own cheese to it and then toss it back in for about 15 minutes, uncovered. All right, so we're getting ready to pull this out here in about 10 seconds. I don't know why I wait for the timer to go off, like it's gonna matter. Those extra 10 seconds could make a difference, I guess, right? And there is the finished product. Doesn't look the greatest, but trust me, it's really good. And then in the mornings, if we have leftovers, well, what I do for Lauren now, because I don't eat in the morning, but... I know, but it's for me. Um, I fry them up, kind of make like hash browns out of it. So, and that's really good. And oh. I, I usually mix like garlic powder and a little bit of spices with it. So, yeah, it turns out really good. So if you ever get it and you have leftovers, you have to try that. Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> this morning was a tough one. I didn't want to get up. Almost 5 a.m. now already, uh, so running a little behind, but letting the car warm up a little bit before we get rolling. Did not want to wake up, did not sleep well, but we're up, we're going, we're going to get some work in with the new shoes, see how they feel. They feel good so far, I'm excited, so. <sighs> I'm here again, all to myself, so going to get some working out in, but I wanted to give you guys a laugh real quick. The problem is when you have big feet, you get big shoes. Well, when big shoes are practical, look what they look like. I look like I'm going to the circus. Is what it is. Let's get rolling. Honestly, I will say invest in your feet. If you're starting this journey, go get fitted for shoes. Definitely don't worry about the looks of them <laughs> as I'm wearing Ronald McDonald shoes, but they are the most comfortable pair of shoes I've had. Are my feet sore? Yes, they are. But that's normal when you work out. Like that's a normal feeling. You know, definitely invest in your feet and do that. I want to thank you guys uh, for the comments that urged me to go do this, as well as my wife who and mother-in-law who nicely forced me to go. <laughs> so, and honestly, it wasn't too expensive. I mean, you might pay a little extra, but it's worth it. You know, and the investment in six months to a year, I'll gladly do it. So I hope you're out there killing, crushing your goals, doing everything you can. I'm going to go in and love on my family while I'm sweaty, so this way they're, ah, thank you for being here. Thank you for the advice. Thank you for the support. Thank you for everything. Remember, we got this. I know I said bye, but Lauren took Ella to school, um, and I wanted to show you exactly what I do with the hash browns to make her breakfast um, that she really, really likes. So, all right, guys, and this is all I add to it. A little bit of pepper, a little bit of Everglades seasoning, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of garlic powder. And as you can see, I got it out of the container. It is face down, kind of warming up. And then of course I'll break it apart, toss it around, and fry it up. So, and I don't measure seasonings, so I can't really tell you how much I put in there. Just moderation. And Lauren likes her eggs to be brown, pretty much, on both sides. She likes them really crispy. Don't know why, but hey, her prerogative, so that's how I make them. Um, and then here is the finished product of that. I call it the healthy er smothered and covered. If you've ever been to Waffle House at 2 a.m. after going out with friends, you know what I mean. All right, y'all, that is the finished plate. As you can see, I buttered the bread for her after cooking. There is the cauliflower mash and her two eggs. 
So try to keep her fed because she feels better, but um, you know, not, nothing bad against Lauren. Lauren has a tendency to focus on everything and not eat. So I'm trying to slow her down, get her to eat as we're heading in the home stretch. Everett will be here soon. My responsibility is to take care of her and that's what I'm doing. Uh, making her breakfast, she'll enjoy it. I'll show you her reaction when she comes home, but. Oh, you made me like a whole meal? Yeah. Oh, you did make me a whole meal. I told them it's like the smothered and covered from Waffle House at 2 a.m. Oh. The healthier version. Oh, it looks so good, babe. Thank you. You're welcome.